This interview is brought to you by Burn It Up Coaching and Becoming Your Greatest Possible Self and our 21-day challenge. And if you are an entrepreneur or a high achiever and you're so committed to breaking through to your next level of success, you've been at a plateau or you know that there's more within you and you're committed to drawing it out and showing up as your best self, taking your next big step, taking a step in the right direction, then the 21-day challenge might be the perfect thing for you. If you've known what to do or if you've been lacking clarity, known what to do but didn't do it or you've been lacking clarity and you didn't follow through, you didn't do it, 21 Day Challenge is going to get you crystal clear on your one year vision, what you're going to create in your life in one year and then we break it down into bite-sized steps, your three month, three projects, your one month, one project and then your 21 day goal. What are you accomplishing in the next 21 days and we'll get crystal clear on that. You'll have daily progress reports to make sure that you're on track, to make sure that you're accountable. I will hold your feet to the fire with love because they call me Mr. Heartfire. And bring the fiery truth because the truth doesn't hurt. It burns. And just know that you will be supported in achieving your goal no matter what. And the only reason you wouldn't achieve it is if you had more excuses than reasons why to succeed. So if you want to dial in your daily habits, if you want to dial in your actions, your weekly progress, uncover the limiting beliefs that are stopping you and sabotaging you and get rid of those so that you can succeed like never before, the 21-Day Challenge will help you accomplish just that. It is not for everyone. It is definitely intense. So if you're ready to step up to that level of intensity and commitment in your life, the 21-Day Challenge will be the breakthrough that you've been looking for. And if you're interested and committed, Send me a message, chris at brgps.com or send me a message on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash th3burns or get a hold of me however you choose. And I'd be happy to see if the 21 Day Challenge is a perfect fit for you. If it's not, I'll point you in the direction of some other resource or person who can help you get to where you want to go. Now, the iTunes Review of the Week. Who left the iTunes Review of the Week? Let's, let's find out. Actually... You know, one of the things that is happening today on today's marathon, which is the theme is our all connected universe, which I'll dive into in a minute here. And one of the other things that's happening is it's Yvonne Larson's birthday. And Yvonne is coming on the show today. She's also launching a podcast, which is huge, right? She's coming on here to share about her podcast. It's her birthday. So I'm going to read her review that she gave us because it's a stellar freaking review. It's awesome. (laughs) And I first met Yvonne back at the New Media Summit with Steve Ulsher. And she rocked the house, just so much amazing energy. And it was such a privilege and a pleasure to be there with her. So if you get the chance to connect with Yvonne, definitely, definitely do it. And she's also known as the Vitality Vixen. So Yvonne's review under Vitality Vixen on iTunes, is passion, focus, inspiring. I've met lots of people who say they are committed to transforming the world. This guy, what? Seriously? He is no joke. His weekly 12-hour marathons are packed with valuable, reliable, and practical tools and resources. He is meticulous about curating the best guests. He is like the Energizer Bunny. He keeps going and going and going. I'm proud and honored to know such an amazing man. So, Yvonne, thank you so much for giving us that, the iTunes review. And if you, the listener, are committed to helping us grow and reach more people and you want to let us know how we're doing, you want to give us feedback, encouragement, support, what we can do differently to improve the show, to grow the show, we always appreciate that as well. So just find us on iTunes, search Becoming Your Greatest Possible Self or go to beyourgps.com and you can find us on iTunes and leave a review there. Give us a review, write a review and and rate us and definitely subscribe so you can stay up to do, up to date for all of us, all of the the episodes that we're coming out with. And then also you can review us on Facebook if you'd like to do that as well. We appreciate that. You taking the time to do that. I love you. I appreciate you. And thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now for the next big step. That's what we're diving into today. That's the theme of today. How to take your next big step. And we're also going to be integrating it with some awesomeness called our all connected universe. So I wanted to create this theme, our all connected universe, because last week I did the theme of a universe of duality 
And I love it, it's it's there's this constant being perplexed and and almost a in in wonder and curiosity at how marvelous the universe is because there's this aspect of duality right and from from one person's perspective they could see the sky as blue and from another person's perspective they could see the sky as orange right if it's a sunset it's all about who's paying attention to which spot what the person sees what their focus is on and so there's this universe of duality and how it seems like anything, anything can be subjective. Even our number system, as, as crazy as it sounds, I know this is kind of out there, but even our number system, th that's our perspective. That's what we've created agreement on through language that two equals two. Two equals two pairs or two apples or two pencils or two pieces of paper, two paper clips, whatever, right? So I think that that's phenomenal and, as and astonishing while someone else could say that is quote unquote a three. The two paper clips is for, in their representation a three somehow, right? And this is, this is very theoretical and conceptual. So I want to bring it back to, to reality. And I love that concept of duality. And I also recognize that there's this all connected universe. There is a ether ether that goes throughout the physical universe that connects everything and for me that is so inspiring knowing that on one hand things seem or appear separate and different you physically seem like you have a different body than me and are separate from me and while that may physically in our visual field appear as true there's also the ether and the energy that connects us all. And I believe that we all come from one source, whether you call that God, creator, universe, source, whatever it might be. Spirit, I think it's fascinating how there is a universe of duality that we perceive and also a universe that is all connected going on at the same time. And what, what, better, what better of a... Of a I don't want to say a game, but a, a story, a a role to play. Like imagine you you created a role for yourself to play in this universe. To remember who you really are, to remember how powerful you are, to remember that you are born of of source, of God, of the universe. And we are all really connected. And we do have infinite potential and power and capacity. How amazing is that? So I love the all-connected universe because for me, it just reminds me that anything really is possible. And in fact, there's this universe, and theoretically, there's other universes, and maybe even mathematically and phys with physics, they can prove that. I'm pretty sure that they can, string theory and stuff like that. So it's like there's this universe, and there's other universes. There's parallel universes and parallel dimensions and cool stuff like that that we have only begun to scratch the scratch of the scratch of the scratch of the surface. So for me, our all-connected universe, it really inspires me to step into the expansion, to the evolution, to the awakening, to the what's possible, to the possibility of what's possible in this lifetime, in this universe, in this creation that we are all within. This life that we get to we get to play the game of life, and get to experience it, get to remember, get to have this experience. And speaking of duality, there's the duality, especially for for men I know, of always wanting to achieve, always wanting to get to the top of the mountain. There's that that masculine energy that wants to complete, that wants to finish, that wants to get to the end. And I have personally learned how to rise in love not fall in love because you can do that and i like rising i like going up <laughs> i like going up i don't like going down i like going up rise in love we can rise in love with the process there is a process an ever unfolding an infinitely unfolding process called now and as long as you're on this planet or as long as you're in this universe or as long as you have consciousness there is a now that you're experiencing. And some people think that at some point, their now, maybe 10 years, 20 years from now, everything will be perfect. And they'll reach this state of 
enlightenment and nothing else has to change and everything becomes easy and life becomes exactly the way that they want it and they live happily ever after. <laughs> I'm grateful for that possibility. And what I'm also more grateful for is the acceptance and the allowing of what is. Not resisting what is, which is this moment. And instead embracing it and loving it and appreciating it and, and rising in love with it. And like literally having it envelop me and embrace me in this moment, in the love and the potentiality and the possibility of this moment. So I wanted to start off with that because... This theme is is so essential to my life. It's so so much of a driving force about why I do what I do. When there's other people and other influences in society and things that are all about getting somewhere, all about the money, all about, you know, these other things. And I know that that stuff happens in perfect timing. I know that the money is continuing to grow and expand and, and we're able to serve more clients and reach more people and make a bigger difference. And right now, I'm just so freaking appreciative of the process. And I love it. And I embrace it. And I'm grateful for it. And I'm grateful for you. And from the very beginning of this show, Becoming Your Greatest Possible Self, we had three outcomes. Number one, for you in the audience, you show up, you get value, you take a step in the right direction, you get the resources, the connections, the ideas, the inspiration that you desire and require to take your next step into being and becoming your greatest possible self. That's outcome number one. Number two is that each of the special guests who comes on the show, they make a meaningful difference in at least one person's life. life. Most likely, many, many more. Because of the ripple effect, because of sharing, because of one idea that can awaken someone and change the course of the rest of their life. And it all starts with one at a time and being grateful and appreciative for that one at a time. The biggest reason that I, I have grown and attracted so many amazing guests on the show, I believe is because of my energy and because of my presence and because of my love of the present moment and how I make each and every guest feel like the most important person on the planet when they're on the show. And I'm grateful for that ability. And that experience has them say, you know what, I enjoyed this. I definitely come back. I definitely do this again. Almost all the guests that I talked to would say that they would love to come, come back on again. So I'm so grateful for that. And then outcome number three is that I make a meaningful difference in at least one person's life. Throughout the 12 hours, if I change the course of someone's life and I appreciate that and I celebrate that in a single marathon, what do you think is going to happen in the next marathon or the next marathon or the next marathon? Well, that appreciation, that energy of thankfulness, of gratitude, of love, of excitement that I get to help just one person and even more, at least one person and most likely many, many, many more. That energy is, is fulfilling, is energizing, is attracting, is magnetizing even more opportunities, even more openings for, for actions and, and partnerships or uh, you know collaborations or strategic alliances. It's opening up more ideas. It's opening more, up more stages for me because I come with great energy, because I keep empowering people and inviting people to the show and increasing the marketing effectiveness and increasing the business effectiveness because I keep increasing and investing and investing and planting the seeds 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 one at a time anything becomes possible because the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Lao Tzu. Amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. So I'm grateful. So that's my philosophy. And I'm so grateful to share that. And the next big step, let's dive into that. Because I just got done this last weekend at JJ Flazane's next big 
step event. And if you want more info or if you want to attend the next event that's happening, it's, I believe, releasing what weighs you down.com. I'm pretty sure that's the site. Let me double check it right now. So I have my computer open just to make sure releasing what weighs you down.com. So if you listen to this, whenever it comes out, it'll probably be more along the lines of November or so. And the event's in January, so you still have time to get signed up and get prepared and all that good stuff. So, yes, it is definitely releasing what weighs you down dot com and I highly recommend you get to it because last year's I wasn't there but I heard it was phenomenal by the speakers and this year's next big step event that JJ put together and created the container and the space for and and the vision around was phenomenal super freaking epic I loved facilitating there and I can go into that and I highly recommend you get to the next event because her events are awesome it's amazing people and it will really help you transform your life dig in into the into the the deep stuff it's like deep work peeling away the layers of the onion to be your greatest possible self to take your next big step or to release what weighs you down so you can succeed and thrive and move into 2019 or whatever the year is whatever the phase of life whatever the season of life is you can move into it powerfully so this last weekend was phenomenal. (laughs) I loved it. And I really loved it because one of the things that JJ requires about all her speakers, which is super cool that I know you'll love, what she requires about all the speakers and sponsors is that we also go through the processes. It's not like we're out hanging out in the lobby or we only show up for our speaking topic and then leave and nobody gets to really connect with us. No, we're there throughout the whole freaking, you know, three or four days, depending on whichever event you're going to. I really love that. And also, I got to experience the benefits of those processes myself, especially there were so many amazing speakers. We had we had PK Odell who talked about feng shui. We had Melanie Benson who talked about money um, and release and healing your money DNA and and money blocks, which was awesome. We had Lisa Thomas who was doing energy healing, which was phenomenal. Probably like you know for me, uh, I'll get into that. I'll get into that and why why it was so awesome for me. And but she's awesome. She's awesome. 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 And then we had Jeannie Peters who talked about nutrition. And of course, we had JJ who, who talked about nonviolent communication and our identity and, and imago therapy, really cool stuff. So Lisa Thomas, I would say, was one of the biggest breakthroughs for me and, and things for me because I feel like I've done a lot of subconscious work. I feel like I've worked on myself a lot. I feel like I've journaled and affirmed and visualized and done lots of really stu- really powerful stuff. And there was always this feeling of, of unworthiness and feeling like I, I wasn't quite there yet. And I'm super grateful I went to this event because I finally got to start feeling free of that through some of her clearing processes. And I was like, holy moly. So I took this, I took the leap. I invested because I wanted to go deeper into that work. And so we're going to be doing some really cool uh, work together, healing and, and spiritual healing and awesome stuff like that. So highly recommend you check out Lisa Thomas. And, you know, another thing I was super grateful for is my ability to facilitate people's growth, people's clarity, breaking things down into bite-sized steps. So one of the things I found is most challenging about the clients that I work with, the people that I work with, is that they have an idea. They have a a vision, a, a vague vision or an energy or a, an emotion, an exciting imagination that pulls them forward. That, that That's why they became an entrepreneur. That's why they b- became a visionary. That's why they are taking these steps forward is because there's a a possibility and they're excited and they're lit up by the possibility. And when it comes down to how do you actually achieve it? Oftentimes I would feel, see people falling short. I'd see my clients not knowing how to do that. I'd see them coming up against resistance. I'd see them not going through the steps to write it out into a bite-sized step plan, how to break it down from a big vision into bite-sized steps. So I love being able to support people with that. And if you want support with that, let me know. And at the event specifically, I, I took people through a best day ever meditation so they could start getting connected with their dreams. They could start feeling it. They could start giving themselves permission to experience that best day ever, the best life ever. So that was on day one, you know, basically there's a day zero. I call it day zero Thursday. Day one, Friday, we take people through that meditation. It was awesome. We went through tons of other processes. I'm not going to get into that right now. And then Saturday, 
I also went through a process of helping people with their statement of purpose. Okay, so how do you take your next big step? Well, listen, you got to get clear on what your life is about. <laughs> if you're not clear on that, then you could take a next big step and it could be a next big step right off a freaking cliff. And that's not serving. That doesn't serve you. That's not valuable. That's not that's not moving you forward in the right direction. That's not helping you get to where you want to go, your dream life. So if you're not clear on your purpose, on your vision, on your life, then it's not going to make a difference for you. And in fact, it could be detrimental. It could be hurting you. The actions you could be taking right now, if they're not directed effectively, if they're not going in the right direction, if they're not powerfully moving you forward with clarity because you already did the work, or at least you're doing the work, then it could be a real detriment to you and it could be sabotaging yourself and you could be not having clarity, which means you don't have power. So I was able to take the participants at this event through an exercise of defining their statement of purpose. What is their vision? Where do you see yourself in five years from now? What is your strategy? How will you accomplish that? What, what is the vehicle to get you to where you want to go? How will you discipline yourself? How will you create the support around you? What is your mission? Who are you? How do you describe yourself in a single sentence? Who are you? What do you stand for? What do you believe in? What are you here to do in this, in this world? And then the objectives. Breaking that vision down into the strategy, down into the mission, down into the objectives. What are the things you need to accomplish to be able to achieve that vision? What are, the, what are the key things? you need to write a book? Do you need to get into the best shape of your life? Do you need to lose a certain amount of weight? Do you need to, what is it? What, what has to be true for you to accomplish that vision? So those are the objectives. And then you get to write about your dream lifestyle, summary of your dream right, lifestyle. Anyways, there's a lot of different stuff that we went through. Not going to go through it all right now. If you want help on it, let me know. And it was so awesome taking them through that. And the next day, Sunday, we're like, okay, so now you have some ideas and objectives and key things that you need to accomplish. Now, how do you turn it into reality? Well, you take that five-year vision and then you set a one-year goal. What are you accomplishing within the next year and what does it look like? I took them through a visualization process, took them into a goal-setting process so that they could write it down and journal about it. And then they broke that down into bite-sized steps, into three-month goals, into one-month goals, into one-week goals. Now, here's the thing. This is not sexy. This is not exciting. It's not magical. And it doesn't seem transformational just talking about it. And I'm excited to share all the, the feedback that people gave because we're, we're going to receive a copy of the footage and all that good stuff from the event. And if you could have heard how, how many people said thank you? How many people came up to me? How many people shared in our, in our circles, in sharing circles, about how much of a difference this statement of purpose process made? How much of a difference it made to go through the goals and the goal setting to break it down into bite-sized steps? You would be blown away at what's possible when you just sit down and do it and you take your pen out and you freaking write. <laughs> and you don't give yourself an out. You don't make excuses and you just go through that process. And I love pe taking people through that. And that's why I love doing it there, facilitating. So we took people through these processes. We had them share and, and with their partners. We had them get up in front of the room and share it for the people who wanted to and were willing to do that. It was just such a great experience to help them take their next big step. And I'm so proud of everyone who is at the event. And I'm so grateful that I've developed myself in my capacity as a coach and a leader and a facilitator and a speaker to create that container of transformation to help people go from being unclear, not even being afraid. I had one person who said she was afraid to go into the event because she wasn't sure about how she would show up. She wasn't sure about what she would really create. She wasn't sure if she had it in her to be able to do it. She didn't know if she was enough to be able to create her dreams and think about her dreams and envision her dreams and put it down on paper. So if you're that person, trust me and lean on these people's results and where they started and where they went. And by the end of the event, guess where she was? She was so proud about what she'd created. She was so proud because she actually declared that she's going to be creating a podcast. 
right? And to go from not knowing at all what she wanted to do or, you know, just being at this place of unconfidence and uncertainty, saying, I'm going to create a podcast. I don't know how. I don't know how it's going to manifest, and I'm going to do it and declare that. For me, it was just so inspiring. So for you to take your next big step, um, first off, I'd recommend doing the Statement of Purpose exercise. You can get that uh, download and handout for free. You can go to let's see, I think it's burnedupcoaching.com forward slash gifts. Is it gifts? Let's see, I think it's free gifts. Burnedupcoaching.com forward slash free gifts. That's right. Burnedupcoaching.com forward slash free gift, free gifts. Scroll down to the statement of purpose worksheet and then download that and go through that exercise. Give yourself permission. Give yourself a two minute ex, two minute timer to do those two or three minutes and just boom, 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 boom. Okay. It helps if you have someone holding you accountable and making sure that you follow through and you are get the support you need and you understand what you're doing and answer your questions. So I'm happy to do that with you. And if you want to start on your own, do it, do it. I highly recommend if you haven't done this, if you haven't created a, a vision and a purpose for your life, do it now, do it now. Go to burnitupcoaching.com forward slash free gifts and download that statement of purpose. Stop the podcast, stop the replay, stop whatever you're listening to this on and go do that. Like set it, set aside time in your schedule, put it in your calendar right now. You're going to do an hour of the statement of purpose. That's all these people had. I, we did it within, I think, 45 minutes because I was probably talking a lot and <laughs> talking about myself and introducing myself and cool stuff like that. And it really didn't take that long when people gave themselves a time limit, when I, when I gave them a time limit and made, made sure that they were facilitated within a certain amount of time. Now, do that. That's step number one. Number two is break it down into bite-sized steps. So after I took them through that, I took them through the, the breaking the goals down. Again, this is not sexy. It is not magical. It is not, it, it might not even be exciting. I give you, I, I would say give yourself permission for it to be exciting and fun and, you know, really, really cool for you. And if it's not, that's okay. That's okay. It's okay if you're at a place of uncertainty or you, you're not sure what you're doing or it's, it's confusing or you have resistance or whatever else it might be. Trust yourself that you're taking the steps. Trust yourself that you're doing your best. Okay, so I broke it down and I had people visualize for, I think it was five minutes, you know, visualize for five minutes and then write, write journal what they saw for five minutes. So visualize for five minutes what your one year goal looks like. What have you accomplished in that one year goal? Set a timer, five minutes. What do you see? What do you hear? What do you touch? What do you taste? What do you smell? What do you feel? Who are you around? Who do you impact? What's the environment? Where are you? All that good stuff, okay? So that's visualize and then take five minutes to journal. Five minutes to visualize, five minutes to journal. That's your one year. Break it down into your three-month goals. What are the three projects that you have to get done in the next three months? Write down who it's going to impact. Write down how it's going to impact them and why, why is it important to you? What's the best part about these, these three-month projects? Okay, Break, it that, break that down into your one-month one goal, one thing. So that you know what's your top priority of the next month. If you get this one thing done, it'll make everything else easy or unnecessary. Give yourself two or three minutes to do that. Who's it impact besides you? Why is it most important? And then break that down into your one week, one thing. What do you have to get done within the next week to know that you're on track for your one month goal? So it's super straightforward. It's super logical. It's super uh, left brain, right? Right? <laughs> And you can do it. I believe in you. Wherever you're at, whether you're a master and you're crushing a million dollars, are you crystal clear on where you want to go? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you want more clarity. Maybe you're feeling disconnected from your purpose, from your life mission, from your values, and you want to get more in tune with that. I know that you can do that. And I'm happy to support you with doing that and go through the exercises. If you're not doing this on a quarterly basis or uh, semi-annually, twice a year or annually, you really need to integrate this into your life about who you're being, who you're becoming. I know I'm going to be reviewing my statement of purpose with my amazing, the love of my life, who I love so much. And I'm so excited to do that with her and help her create hers and refine hers and all that good stuff. And it's so powerful. So, so, so powerful. So taking the, your next big step, it's not so much about having courage and courage and courage to, to go do it. It's just 
going through the process. It's giving yourself permission to to be wrong, to to look ugly, to look bad, to have it to screw up along this process of designing your life. Because when you design your life and you get crystal clear on that picture of where you want to go, it pulls you forward. When you have the details and the clarity of of whose lives you're impacting, it pulls you forward. And that next big step becomes easy. It becomes empowering. It becomes fulfilling and exciting. And you get to live that out in your mind before it even becomes a reality, which is freaking awesome. Okay? So that's super, super awesome. So the next big step. What's your next big step? Wherever you're at right now, I want you to declare, to declare to yourself what that is. Maybe it's doing a statement of purpose. Maybe it is writing out, uh, breaking down your goals into bite-sized steps from 12 months back to one week. Maybe it's sharing with someone what you're creating because maybe you've done this before, but you didn't have accountability. I'm happy to hold you accountable. Share that with me. Let me know what your goals are and keep me posted on that. I'm excited to, to learn and hear about that and what you're up to and support you in that and encourage you with that. Maybe it's to join a group. Maybe it's to create your next program, to write your next book, to declare a date by when you will be complete with something. Maybe you, you're committed to completing your book in the next 90 days or the next six months or the next year, whatever works best for you, whatever's right for you. Maybe it's just to set a date in the first place. Maybe you've been resistant to saying, I'm going for this. What is your next big step and just remember in our all connected universe you are so supported you're so supported in taking that next big step you're so empowered the universe wants you to win i firmly believe that the universe is constantly conspiring to help me win to help me achieve my goals to help me reach my greatest possible self to help me have the best day ever take on that belief invite that belief into your life The universe is constantly conspiring and co-conspiring with me, for me, on behalf of me to help me win, to help me grow, to help me take on my challenges with courage and bravery and love and grace and compassion for myself and for others. Our all-connected universe is 100% supporting you. And I'm grateful. So when you take that next big step, think about how it gets to to impact others. Because that's one of the biggest things that I've really been focusing on is how does it impact others? I came from this place of of about, let's see, what was it, six years ago. I started in network marketing. And my whole vision was, hey, I'm going to be this 21-year-old kid who gets rich, rich, rich. And I don't have to do anything for the rest of my life and... It's going to be easy. It's going to be overnight. And I've got this. Like, let's go make some money. And I found over the years (laughs) is that when I stopped making it about me, not putting myself second or putting my needs last or, you know, really lowering the importance of taking care of myself, self-care, self-nurturing. Rather, I I prioritize my self-love by going out and serving. It's not about me and how I am fulfilled and supported and nourished and financially successful is by going out and serving others, is by empowering them, is by equipping them with the skills and abilities that they need, by by empowering them to recognize their vision for their life, what's important to them, what is most important to people, and to remind them about that and to give them the inspiration to dig deep into their soul, into their purpose, and draw that out and put it in front of them, put it on their mirror, put it on their wall, put it on their phone, put it on their calendar, put it everywhere, put it into existence. Like that fulfilled me. So to take your next big step, really focus on how does that impact the people around you? Because that's been one of the most driving things for me is not making it about me, rather making it about others. And who can I serve today? Who can I support today? Not to the point where I'm exhausting myself and burning myself out. I think that there's probably a lot of moms (laughs) and parents, I'd say more so moms, that overextend themselves 
in an effort to do everything. And if only they would like put themselves first and establish boundaries of putting themselves first and do their morning routines and get to bed earlier and request the help and support that they need from their spouse or from their loved ones. If they need a, a babysitter, if they need a family member to come help with the kids or help with the family or if they need to hire out help and they look for those solutions and are willing to invest in that so that they can create more space, they can create more peace, they can create more resourcefulness for them to take on the important things in their life and to feel like they are growing spiritually, physically, financially, career-wise. Women tend to put themselves last. So start putting yourself first by recognizing who you impact by achieving your goals, by becoming financially successful, by making $10,000 a month, by making $100,000 a month, whatever your number is. By you becoming financially successful, who does it impact? You want to know how to take your next big step. It's by getting your reasons why you will succeed getting that to a place where they're more powerful, they're more that you stack up your reasons why you will succeed because of the people that you impact, because of the benefits that you get in your life, because of all the amazing things that will happen when you achieve this goal, you increase those over the reasons why you won't take the actions, over the reasons why you will fail. And when that reasons, that list of reasons why you will succeed and the people that you will impact is bigger and you're emotionally connected to it more then the fear, you will take that next big step. And it starts with getting clarity on, on where you want to go. You have to know where your GPS, your greatest possible self, is pointed. Where, where's the direction? Do you have the five-year vision? Do you have the one year, the three months, the one month, the one week? Are you crystal clear on that? If not, take the time to do that. Put it in your schedule and let me know. Let me know when you are scheduling time to work on yourself, to work on your greatest possible self to work on your statement of purpose your vision for your dream life when are you doing that when are you putting it into your schedule tell me right now comment send me an email chris at be your gps send me a facebook message send me a text 100 percent. petia says it impacts my family the love of my life and women who see the hope and inspiration in me and my journey i love it i love it petia that is 100 percent true and i'm sure the love of your life is just so blessed to have you out achieving your goals, taking massive strides every day, empowering people, interviewing amazing, powerful influencers. I am proud of you, Petia. Way to go. Keep up the great work. And again, I, I know the love of your life loves you too. Your next big step, what is it? Commit. Commit. Stop being interested. Get off the fence. Get off the fence about it. How do you know you're off the fence? How do you know if you're on the fence? How you know you're on the fence about taking your next big step is you haven't done this work. You haven't done the statement of purpose work. You're not willing to commit. You're not willing to establish the boundaries. You're afraid of hurting people's feelings. You're playing it safe. You're comfortable. You are making excuses. You're procrastinating. You'd rather... You'd rather watch Netflix. You'd rather do the things that are easy, that are comfortable. Maybe you'd rather keep toxic people around you rather than set up your boundaries and kick them out of your life at least to the degree that you are able to. You know, Christmas and, and Easter or Christmas and Thanksgiving or these certain holidays might be the only time that it's wise for you to see your family wise for you to spend time with people who are toxic. Maybe your family's toxic. Maybe your friends are toxic. Are you putting up with that? Maybe your next big step is getting uncomfortable. In fact, it probably is. <laughs> big steps are often uncomfortable. But really recognize. Recognize what does your life look like? How do you know if you're taking your next big step? Ask yourself all those questions I just asked. Are you, are you resisting? Are you procrastinating? Are you fearful? Are you hiding out? Are you playing small? Are you numbing? Are you numbing with TV, with partying, with drugs, with different habits, toxic habits, with vices, with people who keep you at the level that you're comfortable with? 
Or are you constantly expanding? Are you going to networking events? Are you meeting new people? Are you making new friends? Are you investing in the relationships that pull you up, that cause you to grow? Is the average of the five people that you're around the most pulling you up? Are you, are you wanting to become like them, more like them? Because that's what's happening, whether you recognize it or not. So in your next big step, ask yourself, are you committed or interested? Because if you're on the fence, if you're interested, but you haven't yet committed, you'll notice these symptoms in your life that show you that you're not making the progress that you want to be. You're not around the people that you want to be. Now, maybe you've committed and you've committed at a level that you're justifying is, hey, I'm making progress. I'm listening to podcasts. I'm hanging out with better and better people all the time. Good. Only you know if you are playing full in, full out, whatever you want to call it, right? If you are given 110%, if you are going above and beyond, if you're going the extra mile, if you're doing everything you can to connect with even more empowering people, if you're asking for help, if you're getting the support that you need, if you're working on your, on your weaknesses and strengthening your strengths, if you're staying in your genius or if you're operating at a place of mediocrity, you know, not me. And so just like if you're, if you're at that place right now, I want you to give yourself some compassion and grace if you've been judging or blaming yourself or feeling guilty up till now. And give yourself permission. Give yourself permission to forgive yourself. Give yourself permission to heal those past mistakes, wounds, traumas, suffering. And give yourself permission to start fresh in this moment because it is everything and it's all we have. And you can declare to yourself courageously, powerfully, and I, I lean on my courage, lean on my certainty, lean on my power, tap into it, receive it for yourself. Lean, lean on the universal power, if not me, universe, God, source, creator, whatever you want. Lean on some power, some certainty, some possibility that you can do anything you set your mind to. And you don't have to stay stuck. You don't have to stay where you're at. You can get to your next level. So what is that next level for you? And commit right now. Commit to taking that next step. Commit to taking that next action. Whatever that looks like for you. Maybe it's commit to writing a book. Maybe it's commit to getting in better shape. Maybe it's commit to making more sales calls. Maybe it's commit to creating more consistent content. Maybe it's commit to hiring a coach, asking for help, joining a support group getting around better people, asking someone for support, getting a mentor, whatever that is for you, writing out your, your goals every day. What is that commitment for you? And commit. And then tell someone what your commitment is. Don't make it just about you. Don't make it only real in your world. Give someone else that power to hold you accountable too. Hold yourself accountable, right? Who holds the king accountable? Nobody. Nobody. Okay, so hold yourself accountable. Get used to doing that. Who do you think the, the millionaires, deca millionaires, hundred millionaires, and billionaires, do you think they need someone to hold them accountable? No. They take action. They've built the habit of success. They've built the habit of taking action in spite of their fears and uncomfortabilities. What they probably do need is someone to help them shift their perspective if they're stuck, if they're overwhelmed, if they're in their story, if they're in their blind spots operating out of that, that's when a coach is super valuable, a mentor, someone who's been there before, done it before. And at that level, those people have built up that muscle. Most likely, if you're listening to this, you're still building up the muscle. So give yourself permission to still be building up the muscle of accountability, of holding yourself accountable, of having support groups and lean on, lean on the tools and the resources in your environment. Tap into the support groups, tap into the coaches, tap into the Facebook lives like this. We do accountability coaching every week and I just coached Elena for I think 30, 40 minutes on creating her program. We, we talked about affirmations, we talked about you know what she has to do to make that a reality and creating more abundance and prosperity in her life. Take advantage of the things that are in your reality that are there to support you and the people who are around you who want you to win. And take your next big step because you deserve it. You 100% deserve it. Petia says, yes, big steps are uncomfortable and soul 
so soul opening. Big steps are uncomfortable and so soul opening. It's powerful. And Petia also says, you're such a powerful accountability leader. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Petia. I see Shamika is in here as well. I called Shamika earlier and she's kicking butt and taking names. We, we had a conversation on the accountability coaching hour. So wherever you're at, know that there's resources for you. There's the accountability coaching hour, which you can call into for free every Wednesday from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. There's no excuses. Become convicted in yourself, in what you create, in what you take action on, in how you see yourself, in your identity of who you are. You are someone who is constantly taking your next big step. You are someone who is constantly growing into your greatest possible self. You're constantly someone who's surrounding yourself with better and better people. You're constantly someone who's investing in the important relationships to you. What's your next big step? I want you to, to declare it. Preferably, declare it to me. Send me an email. Tell someone. Tag me. Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, wherever. Do it. Declare that ish. So that you're being and becoming your greatest possible self. And just know I am here to support you. And I love you. And you deserve it. And lean on me. And if you want more, more feedback of, of who had an amazing experience, I can, I can introduce you to the people who went through those exercises that I facilitated this last weekend at the Next Big Step event. And you can hear firsthand what they got out of it. Firsthand from people who were resistant at, at first and then became open and empowered to take that leap forward. So just know that anything you set your mind to, you can accomplish. You just have to believe it first. You have to have faith first.